All right, YouTube. Today's a league of blue white stone blade for a donation toward going towards the Barrero Brothers Wrestling. If you'd like to see me play your deck this week, I'm doing all donation deck lists for the Barreros. Um, of changes, I, I thought that this was solidly the best deck in the f not solidly, but I thought it was the best deck in the format before the introduction of War of the Spark. And now that War of the Spark is in, things have obviously changed. Like. I couldn't find a place to fit the new Narset, so I didn't know where to put it. I wanted a Vendillion Click because I think it's a little less about a true name Nemesis Mirror, and I think it's more about interacting, so I wanted a little bit more interaction. And I also put two Back to Basics in my sideboard to help respect the, the various Karn decks. Whoa, this one's black. This one's not. I don't know what that means. Huh. Well, that's odd. But yeah, I'm excited to play this thing. I really like playing this deck. Excited to give this a try, run this through a league. I thought it was really, really good before the new um, for the new set, and it'll be interesting to see how good it is now that you know the new the new planeswalkers are in the format. My guess is it's still pretty solid. I think you have to respect the new planeswalkers. So I almost played like another council's judgment, but like. It's a little clunky. So I have another Vendillion click to kind of be able to play those blue mirrors a little better. So, cut the Gideon, which kind of hurt my feelings. I, I love Gideon in this sideboard. I, I think Gideon's like really solid in this deck, especially in the, like, in the mirrors. Being able to fight over, um, just fight over the Monarch. All right, we're on the draw. Which is unfortunate. We weren't supposed to do that. We're supposed to win the die roll like professionals, but we did not. And it's pretty solid. We've got like our nice little catch up card in the draw, two of them into a stone forge mystic. So we're just gonna keep this. I'm gonna lead on island, not the skull. I wanna hold my fetch land. Lemon. Right, my opponent thought about it and then mulliganed. So I wonder if they're like a, like a combo deck that was close. Or maybe a combo deck that couldn't win through interaction. But I think you'd still keep that hand. So I'm going to lead on Scalding Tarn now that we see red. So I would like to fetch another blue land. I think we're playing Mono Red Prison. This deck was really popular about three months ago. But then the rise of the two color Delver decks just kind of beat it down. And like just Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. I'm going to spell Pierce of Blood Moon. Especially going to spell Pierce a three ball. And I'm likely just going to jam True Name Nemesis, or not True Name, uh, <coughs> Stoneforge Mystic next turn. Like, the odds that I get to spell snare something are not that great. It would probably be like a Chalice the Void if I got to spell snare something. And that's not really going to do it for me. Yeah, like, we're just going to jam idiots the rest of the game. I'm going to be a batter skull. If we were like land Chandra, that would suck. But again, we've got a true name nemesis to follow up. Like, there's a chance this deck just loses to like true name beat down. Like, now that we're not susceptible to Blood Moon, we're not really susceptible to Chalice. Crater Maker's annoying. But again, not the end of the world. I'm just going to like jam this true name. Now we have a Force of Will. So like, I don't think we can lose this game anymore. I 
And this is what, like, this this deck was, like... This deck just destroys Chalice the Void decks. Legion War loss. That's okay. Because I'm just going to block the token, play another True Nemesis, and then I'll block the token every turn if I need to. Like, just attack with one, not the other. If I ever get the land batter skull, like, we hit a plow, so. I don't even have to plow this, but I can if I want to. This is probably a pretty atrocious matchup for our opponent. At this point, I don't know. There's, like, nothing they really can do that's, like, super scary. Another war boss is like annoying, but again, we're the same thing. So I think I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna plow this war boss. Whatever, like let your war boss into play. I'll block the token, and I'll just do that each turn if I have to. And if I rip a land, then I'll just play Batter Skull. All right, well now I'll just attack with both and then plow this thing. This war boss is just like laughable. No, I think their deck's pretty laughable in this matchup. It's just a tough matchup for our opponent, I think. What am I worried about? I think I'm just gonna force this. Like now, let's just let's just stop messing around. Have just like, but like, what could they play that, that that even matters? Like, they could play like a Chandra. Like, I guess Ensnaring Bridge is like the card that beats me. But now, like, Ensnaring Bridge doesn't even beat me because I'll just like shrink. If I get counters on uh, my Jitte, I can still just attack with Stoneforge Mystic. So I'll just like go under it, then go over it. Opponent is actually this deck on the board. No, they're not. Stoneforge Mystic only has one power. So yeah, I'll just put counters. I'll just like strap jet. Yeah. Not a lot our opponent can do from there. So what do we want to do? Cards I am not in love with. Palace Jailer. Counter spell. Probably want my disenchant. I'd assume Vendillion Click's not bad. Probably don't need all of these Snapcasters. It could be possible that I should, like, Jace is better than. Snapcaster is probably better than Jace. But I wanted to cut this counter spell. This is what I wanted to cut. What did I cut over it? Palace Shale, Cluster Storm. Well, this is what I didn't want. Oh, I didn't want this palace jailer. Okay. Um, oh, I just didn't sideboard at all. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with Snapcaster Mage is better than Jace. Because Jace can be hard to defend. Maybe I want, like, some Supreme Verdicts to be able to handle, like, the War Boss army. Probably can cut, like, a spell. Like, it's probably better than Spell Snare on the draw, especially because you can't. Um, you can't get at any, like you can't um, spell snare a chalice on the draw. All right, we're gonna keep this hand. Our pitch card is likely this Jace. This hand's a little susceptible to Blood Moon because we have two non-blue fetch lands. But, you know, that's what we gotta do. Council Judgment's good in the matchup. Just want to kind of chug up there and get him. Force Pitch is the Mind Sculptor. We only have one more Jace in our deck. Chrome Rocks. Alright, so opponent's Really just going all in here. 
the Rattle Master. I'm just gonna force this. This card is so annoying. We have like Petal Red Blast. All right, let's go get a Tundra. Then Ponder. All right, I think all these are pretty solid. I will draw the Flooded Strand, put the Plow. It's kind of interesting. I want all of these cards. So I guess I'll just go like this. Though so there's a chance I want the plow. Like I think they have another one of these because they, they put one underneath here. Blood Moon would suck. <coughs> Karn kind of sucks as well. What are you going to get? Ensnaring Bridge. Another thing that I like about Vendillion Click is it matches up really well against this card. It gets the card they get rid of, and then you can also um, attack the Karn. So it's, it doesn't really matter right now because we're a little too far behind, but. It's not too far behind. It's 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 out there too early. Excuse me. Okay, walking ballista. All right. Well, play flooded strand. Pass the turn. Nice thing we can do here is brainstorm into like our click. Or we can just not even brainstorm if we don't want to. Yeah. And yield. What are you gonna get here? Are you gonna get like a Mycosin Lattice? They're a far they're, they're ways off of that. I would like to be able to just kill this. Not have to use a council judgment on it. And then maybe like I can strap this jet to the click eventually to like pick off all their little small creatures. I chose not to use it. So let's get this out of here. We're just going to draw a click, play our land, and then pass. And I think I'll draw. Well, I'm not really wild about draw stepping this click. Because if my opponent has like another walking ballista. Which is like kind of reasonable. I mean, how many cards can they have, right? I'm just not. I'm not gonna draw set this click. I have a brainstorm if I need to. I have like three forces and two spell pierces for like interaction. It's kind of funny they can't plus on this, right? My creature is a creature with the power of the equal face converting that Yeah, they can't plus on this or it would die. Alright, I guess I am gonna click my opponent. I don't know really what they could have. It's likely just lands, but I well I guess I could also get rid of my jet. Yeah, I'll get rid of my jet. Alright, Plow's not bad. Wasteland's pretty bad. I'm just gonna attack Karn. Hey. Hey. No. Billy's growling. Here's something. I could brainstorm, but I don't really know what I'm looking for. But I could hit like a stone force and I think that would be pretty solid. Yep. Alright, so let's get rid of. I could just get rid of both of these. So 
I'll just go get the batter skull. I'll just pass. My opponent can whack me with uh, whatever that dumb card is, the one that deals the pyroclasms. But I'm pretty sure we're like about a million miles ahead here. I mean, this like, like uh, Mr. Gouldicott Daniel said, like this is the ponder deck that's good against Chalice, that's good against these Chalice decks. Just gonna attack here, pass, vile in this batter skull. Oh, we got something good here. A little bit of monkey business. Just attack, and then I will ponder. Probably hit. Probably just hit like fish for a force of will. I don't really need anything else besides that. Uh, spell pierce and disenchant are probably worth it. So let's go like this. Well, we might not be able to spell pierce anything super relevant. We can spell pierce like a four drop, which is Chandra or Karn. Which I'm in for. Being able to hit a four drop would be good. Crater Maker is annoying. So I'll just plow it. Kind of delays this by a turn, but such is. No, well, it's actually pretty bad. So Crater Maker fucks. Alright, well, I guess I can just make him do it now. I'm just gonna plow this. I'll plow this. And then I'll just like play true to Nemesis. Maybe I shouldn't even plow this. But I don't wanna like Yeah, I'm just gonna like play true name and then just kill my opponent that way. I don't wanna vial it in because like then we have to that's just gonna die in the crater maker. And like the Stoneforge Mystic is not really doing a lot. Choose you. And now we're just beaten for six a turn. Not a lot to be worried about at this point. Like the writing's on the wall. I don't think my opponent. I'd be surprised if my opponent could, could win this mat, this game here. I'm just never gonna tap out again. Like I'm just gonna attack, and then eventually they'll pop this crater maker, and then I'll just vial in a batter skull. See, it's a deck that's like not playing it. It's, it's not gonna punch me. Okay, sure. It's an odd time to do that. We have a scalding tarn on top of our deck. Yeah, we're just gonna six ya. They don't get to tap, they can't tap that ancient tomb. Many times we're just gonna take a turn off the clock. Well, one time they'll take a turn off the clock. If they get real squarely with it, they could be in trouble. And there's, there's probably no value in disenchanting this. Yep, it's gonna sit on our heels. I'll ponder, just basically just looking for Force of Will. Or another Vendillion click. I guess Snap Plow is worth it. But I probably won't. It'll make it so it's lethal. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just shuffle. Oh, snap, brainstorm into turn. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty rude. I mean, that's a, that's just like a very good matchup for Stoneblade. It's probably the reason why I like playing Stoneblade over like a Delver deck, where, you know, that's just a good matchup. Like, it's, you know, pile of basics, you know, Stoneforge Mystic is something the Chalice decks don't want to see. And while you have 16 one drops, you know, you, it's not like you're, you're a Delver deck that doesn't operate. You've got your Snaps, your Stoneforges, your True Names, your Jailer, your Jays. Like, 
you're not locked out of the game. Like, you're, you're not locked out of the game by any means. Yeah, so I was thinking about where I put Narset in this deck. If, if like, a different... Because I don't know if, like... Narset seems like a card for, like, mirrors where you want to lock people out. And I don't really know if I want to do that. Or if I still want to try to be, like, you know, Jun, a little bit aggressive. But the fact that it bodies the Monarch is nice. It, it seems like it's a better card in control decks than in, like, what I'm trying to do here. All right, we'll keep. This guy's pretty medium, but if we're playing against a fair deck, it's not that bad. We're on the play, so you know, Stone Forge on the on the play is, is how we'll do it. I'm just gonna jam. Yeah, I don't have anything else going on. I'm gonna get a because it went island. I'm gonna get a Tundra. Just jam. Okay, let's go get a Batter Skull. I really like, I mean, I wrote about this deck on MGG Corner. I like what Stoneforge Mystic does in this deck. Because, like, it's ultimately just a distraction that is potentially game-winning, if that makes sense. All right, so now I'm just going to tilt. Oh, that sucks. We drew that gonna waste them because I think we're playing against either the miracle the mirror or miracles and if that's the case you want to just get as much value you want to get value out of your wastelands if you can takes us off like a little closer to Jace but we'll get there god I wish we hadn't drawn that jet all right There's jamming threats, like, this is what this deck does. All right. Land. All right, so we're getting there an attack to start. So my opponent finds a Umizawa's Jitte and gets to equip it. They could be a, a little bit ahead here, but right now we have the Stoneforge Mystic. We have the, we are winning the true name battle. All right. We're still winning the true name battle. If we draw land, we're in wicked good shape. It's like a land. Okay, so let's put this back under this. Deck with two, play our own jet. And we'll equip that next turn. And that should be lights out. We're gonna, we're not gonna, we might spell pierce our opponents, Jim Wizard's Jete. Well, no, definitely we're gonna spell pierce it. Even if it meant like just throwing them off equipping it. Get a spell pierce or a force. Okay. Yeah, that does it. Yeah, this mirror is a little obnoxious. Okay, so I don't like spell pierce in the mirror. Um, I don't like Vendillion click a lot. I haven't sideboarded. I haven't done this in a little while, so I'm a little off. What are we doing? What cards I know I do want? I want Jailer. I want Verdict. I want like a disenchant. I want a click, and then I want like some fluster storms. So we can sh definitely shave on force of wills. We can definitely shave on some plows because they only handle stoneforge mystic, and the damage is kind of done by then. A click is gonna let us like play the blue game better. I'm gonna shave a Stoneforge Mystic. I don't think we need all of those Mystics in the draw. Three Fluster Storms might be a little much. Yeah, it's probably a little much. I'm gonna bring in another Disenchant, just to be a little 
fight over my opponent's equipment. I'm gonna cut one of these and also bring in a force of will because like it's about hitting the creatures, forcing through creatures. I could also cut my wastelands. Yeah, probably should I should have shaved wasteland. Okay, that's pretty solid. Nothing super special. I'm gonna be pretty liberal with this Luster Storm because we just want to like tap out. Just snap that off. Maybe our opponent kept the one land. One land ponder hand. Nope. Alright, well we're just gonna jam our Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, I'm just gonna go get Jet because we already have true name in hand. Has a Sofi. Sofi is a little sketchy, but we do. This is why we have, you know, disenchants in the board. Okay, Stoneforge Mystic from our opponent. So we're probably just going to vial in attack and then kill their mystic just to keep an keep a clear board here All right, let's make sure we vile um we're gonna get a tundra This mirror is obnoxious. I could have played Jace there and actually bounced the. Uh, um, I could have played Jace and bounced, which is something that would have been interesting to think about. True name for our opponent. All right. Let's brainstorm. Supreme Verdict is, I don't th really think what we want to be doing here. So here's our, here's our options. We can just brainstorm again and look for a way to deal with, like we have four hits to this, which is what I think I want to do. So we get another Tundra. Okay. Now we might be in a little bit of a pickle. So I put this back, put this back. Attack, we'll get our counters. And then we'll pass. So I think I can just race this also, like race this sword. Well, racing that sword is going to be difficult, actually. I can also just like play Jace to have it be a, just a distraction. plays another nemesis. Okay, so now I'm just going to attack in Verdict. Should 
Should I attack in verdict or should I play Jace? I can also just hold up Snap Flusterstorm and then kill him over two turns. Because what's my opponent going to do to me? They're going to attack me for 5, 7, plus 3 is 10. I think I'm just going to try to kill them over two turns. So if I attack... I attack, put my opponent to eight, then my true name is lethal next turn, and I have Snapcaster Mage to fight over it. And then if they figure something out, I can just verdict. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna attack. Get in there for three. And then just kind of turtle up. With like the backup plan of Supreme Verdicting. All right, well that backup plan no longer works. Okay. Let me think here, because I might just be able to kill my opponent with just the Snapcaster, because this is 11 damage. My opponent... Target creature gets minus one, minus one until the end of turn, you gain two life. It's like what I can do is just Snapcaster Brainstorm. Because like this gives them, this can get them, get them to 12. Or get them to 10 and kill this. Because this is 11 so 10 so the snapcaster is lethal which i think i'm going to go for and i don't think i'm going to brainstorm beforehand and if my opponent like if my opponent oh yeah see they just concede yep yep all right I mean, that was just like a super shit show, Stoneblade Mirror. Whoever just true names up, true names the hardest wins. I only had three there, so it was kind of lucky that we hit two of them. The old 2040, good way to start. <clears throat> really appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. It's been kind of a tame stream, but I've been off for a week, so it's have to happen. Um, my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm part of the Card Horror Network. We're doing donation deck list for the Barreros, which you can find up there. The Barreros are. Uh, wrestlers for the Canadian National Wrestling Team that are looking to just help fund their way to um, you know to the wrestling to uh, all the events this year. So if you donate them ten dollars or donate myself ten dollars, I will um, I will play your deck through a league. I've only got one more deck in the queue, so we're just about um, tapped out for the event. So. We're gonna have open new ones up tomorrow. I think I'm gonna stream the challenge, the legacy challenge on Saturday or Sunday. And I'm gonna, if I do well, I'm gonna donate the proceeds to it. All right, we're gonna keep this hand. We deal one land Ponderosa, one play, which is nice. It's not like this is gonna get countered, dazed. Opponent Logan. Some of her land drops are like Force of Will. I only really want one of these cards. 
I really don't want to draw any more of these cards. I might just shuffle. Is that crazy? Yeah, I'm going to shuffle. Because, like, the land is good. But that's the only card in that mix that's any good. I'm just not really interested in either one of those. Like, just having another dead draw. All right, Mox Diamond. Playing against lands. Bad lands. So playing against, like, a four-color loam deck, it looks like. Looks like we're about to get chaliced. We didn't get chaliced, which is nice. I'm gonna ponder looking for the Stoneforge Mystic is nice. The Flooded Strand is also nice. I think the Flooded Strand is better than the Stoneforge Mystic, though. Because it gives us white land that's not wastelandable. So we're going to go like this. With the ability to crack our fetch land to Brainstorm. I do kind of want the Stoneforge Mystic because it's just Liliana Insurance. That card's annoying. I'm gonna draw the Stoneforge Mystic now. I'm gonna fetch here, draw it, and go fetch a Batter Skull. Like maybe I should just be jamming Trinity Nemesis, but. We have Knight of the Reliquary covered. Like, Liliana is a bit of a problem, but we've got, like, that's why I wouldn't get the Batter Skull and I get the Stone Forge Mystic, because like, it just protects me from the Edict. I haven't played against Four Color Loam in a while. Think this is a bad matchup? If I just had to guess, I'm not a legacy aficionado, but it's kind of like what my gut tells me. Chalice on one, so I guess we are brainstorming. I think I've got to force this. Feels real bad to get rid of it. And like the fact that we've got a wasteland on top of our deck also feels bad. Like we're almost obliged to just jam Stoneforge Mystic. I guess we don't have to. Like I'll just draw that other wasteland. I mean, the more mana I have, the better that it's going to be for me. The longer this game goes on. I'm just not even really into. Wonder if it was. Yeah. So we use dredge. Two cards. Yeah, this is a really confusing interaction that I just don't exactly know how it works. Like I know that you can do something weird where I don't know. It's weird. Okay. You have another relic. Now we're in a little bit 
of trouble here because we could get like you know locked out of our white sources Could try and double wasteland my opponent. Oh, that's nice. That'll let us double spell. Now I'm kind of tempted to attack, double wasteland, play Stoneforge Mystic. Or I could just not be able to bounce the Batter Skull. That's what I think I'm going to do. Just protect the Batter Skull. That's our plan. I guess I messed up here. If I shouldn't have attacked with Stoneforge Mystic. But I also didn't know they were going to do that, I guess. Yeah, I think I just want to keep make sure this batter skull doesn't get trophied or something like that. Like I don't, I don't know if my opponent has that in their deck or not. I'm not super, super up on my opponent's deck list. Right, there's another knight. Which is okay. I might just like put on both serve foot counters in this jet. Would you show your deck list as this matchup? It should be in the uh, Cardboard Live app. If you're looking to see it. Yeah, I'm just going to like jam. I don't think they have a way to kill this Batter Skull in their main deck. My opponent's actually, I think they're dead next turn. No, they have Grove Punishing Fire, so I can pump this to an eight. No, they're not dead. They can't crack a fetch land. Never played against Aggro Loan with this deck before. I would think that I want to just board for it like a like a grind fest. Okay. Like, I don't think I want to play my surgicals. I think I want like disenchant. I want like Palace Jailer, Disenchant, back to basics. Medillion Click's probably not great. Spell Pierce is probably not great, especially on the draw. Um, I kind of want my forces. I'm going to assume Spell Snare is not great either on the draw. Like it hits Bob. Could bring this in. Maybe counter spells also kind of clunky. They could have like a board of idiots, I guess, and it's just another way. Nah, I don't want to do that. How do you think? Uh, I don't know to tell you the truth. Like it, it seems cool, like, but it seems like a control card or an anti combo card. So I'm not sure how much I love that. I'm just going to keep a spell pierce in because it can hit a Liliana. Oh, I think we're just going to try to grind. Um. Yeah, I don't know about the Million Oxide because I do want to be kind of proactive and try to like win the game, if that makes sense. But, and that's like a very like... It's, it seems like a grindy card. Like, a, like you know, I don't want to be that reactive. A card with like that in my deck. Like, it could, you could bring it into a sideboard against Gristlebrand decks. Um, in blue decks, I'm not sure that's the role that I want to take. Like in the blue mirrors. You like maybe I'm just worse at that. It's a Bob. I'm probably gonna have to force it. Right, we're gonna get rid of that. 
Then we're going to go Flooded Strand Ponder. Island Ponder, excuse me. I don't think I want that Wasteland, but the other two cards are probably fine. But again, like I say that, and I've I've not played any matchups with the card, so all right, first test of the day. Okay, so the card underneath the wasteland. Do I fetch and try to hit, go into what I'm looking for? Give me three new looks, or. I'm in a lot of trouble if this untaps this, that I think even though it messes up my brainstorm, I think it's worth it. I'm not super proud of this. And I'm going to get an island so that at least I can play Trinanos this next turn. Yeah, we missed. Now, let's see. I could have gotten a Tundra, but I didn't want to get Wastelanded. I like the Bob's like a decent chance of getting Wastelanded. So now I need to do some digging on my turn before I play True Name. I'm definitely going to fetch and ponder. That's the first thing that I'm going to do. And I might just get a... I guess I might as well just get an island so I can look again. All right, another Mox Island. What do we got here? Is this like the five drop thing that's like... Suck, or is it Night of Reliquary? Oh, gross. Or is it Nissa Vital Force? Jesus. Jesus Christ. Returning Chalice of the Void. Okay. Alright, let's fetch an island. So now I need to find, like, a lot of stuff. I think it starts with killing this thing. All right, well, we can do that next turn. Okay. Let's go like this. Chalice is going to be annoying, but we can deal with it. The first thing we got to do is kill Bob, I think. Liliana Lasso, also annoying. But like, we're going to kill Bob. We're going to chump the token. Then we're going to play True Name and Disenchant. And we're just going to kind of hope our opponent doesn't do anything for a little while. Because I think the Monarch might be able to dig us out of this. This is all highly contingent on my opponent kind of missing for a little while. But I do think Palace Jailer is our way out of this. This is just until, until your next turn. Okay, I was like, dude, are they going to take the Monarch back from me? That's another thing I kind of have to hope, that they don't steal back the Monarch. We hit a Caracas, which does nothing. Okay. Shit. That didn't work. Now we're pretty much dead. They have another Bob. They got the Bob back. Yeah, we're dead. Like, yeah, that was our plan. I think we had to, like, fade, chump, play true name, 
disenchant this, untap, then we have Snapcaster plus, yeah, I think we'd have been okay if we could have untapped with the Monarch that turn. All right, I'm just gonna submit. But we definitely needed the Monarch. Oh, this hand's not great. Give me my mulligan. All right, this hand's better. A little susceptible to Wasteland. We're gonna put that on top, because that's our threat. Kinda sucks we can't play around Wasteland here. Because we can't play around Wasteland, I'm going to just go double Tundra so that we're not cut off a of color. Um, I think I want to get Jit. Uh, Batter Skull is just another t another body, and like. We had to work really hard to get the Jitten on. All right, this is Sylvan Library. Can we beat this? I think I can. Not even gonna do anything. We're just gonna hold the spell pierce up, vial this thing in. It's kind of laughable. Our back to basic situation right now. It would hurt us more than it would hurt our opponent. on top. Sure. Opponent ditches Burning Catacombs. Okay. Gonna brainstorm. I think I've got to force this, unfortunately, and I will pitch my spell pierce. Kind of sucks. Like it would have been nice to find one of our four ways, four ways to deal with that, but hopefully we don't get like assassin's trophy here. Would have been nice to use that spell pierce. No trophy. Don't trophy me, bro. Damn, they had a trophy also. Jeez, that's that's a tough one for us. All right, let's just go get an island. What am I looking for? I can go get Umazawa's Jitte, but I don't think that is really what I'm looking for. So I think I'm just gonna shuffle. All right, let's brainstorm. True to Nemesis, okay. All right, Snapcaster Mage is nice. So let's get our, get our 3-1 into play. Get an island. And we should get on the board here. Like this is, and it's gonna slow them down from uh, <coughs> drawing cards with library at least. The fact that we don't have a plow is a little annoying. 
But maybe we might not be put in a situation where we can afford to plow like a Knight of Reliquary because we might have to just win a race. Probably the best draw for me would be like either one of my Palace Jailers or Jace. Or two Jace. So I have like four really good draws next turn. Could also pick up like a King. Oh, geez. That's got to mean they have an answer to this tree name. Or it's Nissa. Okay. I think I'm just attacking them. At this point, we're just going for like. We're just going for broke. Like, uh, I'm just going to hit them. What am I pondering for? I can ponder for another Stoneforge Mystic. And I guess. I guess pondering is the correct thing to do. So I go Snapcast and Rage Ponder. I can hit a way to deal with this. And then I can just hit them for one, give them one draw step. Yeah, I think Snapcaster Ponder. Can you maybe set something up next turn? All right, so I'm going to take the Brainstorm. Give myself the option to maybe Brainstorm into Force Blue card if my opponent does that and know that I at least have a plow on top if I need it <clears throat> this is the race this is what I like about this like it just turns a corner pretty well I don't know why I'm taking like a questionable eight points and they didn't have to, but I feel like they have a Golgari charm. Because if my bottom card's a blue card, then like I'm in pretty good shape next turn. Okay, so we have a plow. I'm just gonna attack with this and they put two cards on top so they like they know what is going on. They should attack with this, I think. Because you, you're okay trading these off. Now we have a hard cast force of will. So I think we're in good shape. Name, just mess up card. Maybe I'm wrong for only playing three right now. Like in each one of my matchups, I, I think I would have really liked having another um, true name. Like we played the mirror chalice, okay? Chalice Mox Diamond. So Chalice Mox Diamond X. We have a plow on top. <coughs> They're still playing, which makes me think they have something going on. Can't thought seize me to take my force. They can't cabal pit me, but I guess they have a mox diamond in their hand. So it's like they could go like him into. What they do? They would go him to Torok into Golgari Charm. They lose because they're at one. It was important to identify what mattered here and who we were attacking. Okay. They just have that many removal spells. 
Oh, so they have a Ta. No, they have a Golgari charm, but they can't cast it. Unless they go score to themselves. They have to go score to themselves. Oh, they can untap, okay. Let me just good brainstorm to like make them think that we were looking for it. Sacrifice this. Yeah, they were just like hoping that I messed that up, I guess. I don't know, what would my two would not have hit a blue card. So if I had to. Alright, we're three now. Hopefully we can win the last two. That would be a sweet end of the stream. After kind of struggling in standard a little bit. It's nice to it'd be nice to come to legacy and get get three get three good win or get a five oh. That'd be a nut. Again, this is a donation deck list. I've only got one left. If you would like to be in the queue, some now play of yours, anything for $10, all you have to do is go up here. If you're watching on YouTube, all the information for the Barrero Brothers stream will be post will for a charity will be posted below. So you should definitely check that out. It'd be really it'd be good of them to it's good to help help support them. They they were they played magic, the story I learned how to play, and they're just struggling a little bit. So it would be good to help them out if you can, and I'll reward you by playing your deck. So Takes a while to get them. I want to load up and get some more water. Oh, no, we are. All you have to do is complain. You're good. We have the old 3 0 and 3 0 battle around the draw, which is a tilt. And it's decent. We have a card on the draw that helps hook us up. An aggressive card, a 2 for 1, and a threat. So, it's pretty solid. Savannah. All right, well, we're gonna fetch a planes and we're gonna plow that. I'm not gonna fetch a planes. We are gonna plow it. I tend to think that we tend to really beat up on these noble hierarch decks. They just don't have like, don't really have the tools to hang. I'm just going to play an island in case we do have to spell snare something. I don't want to have to fetch. I don't want to expose my tundra. And the interesting thing is if I go snap plow, so now I'm definitely not going to snap plow. If, if they wouldn't have played anything this turn or added to mana. Oh. Um, Az Azuri Ivory, thank you very much for the subscription. I appreciate you for doing that. Hope you're having a great day. That's a nice draw. So let's just Snapcaster plow this. Get this out of here. I think that this is. I think this deck is very, very good against Maverick. You have to worry about choke after sideboard, but I, th I think it's just a really solid matchup. Yeah, I appreciate your subscription, and I hope you're having a great day. I think we'll let that one go. Like I know it's one of their I know it's like a value card, but we're not gonna get wasteland locked. Um there's no sense trying to contain their mana anymore. I'd like to just hold my force of will. And I'm gonna play flooded strand tuning nemesis next turn. Oh that's a nice draw. So I think we're just holding that for Knight of the Reliquary at this point. So let's just jam in this here. Get our three one into play that's obnoxious. And then just kind of chill out here on the back foot. Or on the front foot, excuse me.
I think these blue, I think these Tundra decks just tend to beat up on Maverick. All right, so opponents looking to set something up. They have plenty of creatures. Maybe they have a natural, they probably have a cradle. Scavenging news is annoying. I'll probably just go fetch a planes end of turn and plow that. I should have just, why didn't I spell snare that? That was just super derpy. That was just me talking there and I just didn't think about it and I could have converted my spell snare, which would have been nice. That, just went, that one just went over my head. I definitely should have spell snared this. No reason not to do that, but mistakes were made. I'm gonna play my Tundra because it could represent a hard cast uh, force of will. But I might not be attacking with my Trinity. I might just be kind of digging to like a Stoneforge Mystic would be a really great draw. Stoneforge Mystic into Jet would be awesome. Yep, you got it. I definitely should have used my Spell Snare there. So do I want to trade three damage for three damage? I don't really think I want to. I'm just gonna play this and pass. Just hold up a hard cast force. At this point we're both kind of out. I mean our opponent might have more resources. They've been getting card advantage definitely off this ramen app. It just hits their turn hits their land drop every turn. So now I'm going to get an island. That's two knights down. My opponent probably has plenty of greens and zeniths. Uh, a jace would be nice here. That is also pretty good. And I'll just attack. I'll shoot both of these. Actually, I'm going to attack with everything because if my opponent wants to block this here, then I'll just go like shoot Noble Hierarch, shoot this. I guess it's a free block. That's a mistake that I made there. I punted there because that's a free block from our opponent because they just get to um, bring it back with the Excavator next turn. That was a mistake. All right, well, I'll take out this. Yeah, that was a punt there. I should, cause like, it's just a free block. Like I should have just like passed, ping this, untap, ping, ping, and then gotten rid of that excavator. All right, that's, that's a bit unfortunate. Let's just gain two life. Yeah, I, I didn't play this turn very well. Like I could have, should have had a Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, you know, I was like, oh, they're just gonna attack now. They just did that. So Ramen Up has been annoying. I don't obviously. I don't think. I'm not sure that it was worth plowing or anything like that, but it has been just annoying. All right. Again, I don't think I want to trade three damage for five damage. So we're just gonna hang out here. I've definitely like this ramen up's been decent. Now it's now it's very good. Maybe I should have been more serious about killing this because it's just a, now it's a card every turn. I just took this thing too lightly. I underestimated it. So I really underestimate this deck. I mean, if you heard what I've been talking about here, you know. We're just going to use this because that card's going to get obnoxious very quick. I'd like a palace jailer or something like that. Something to just, oh, I mean, that's something, but I need something to get the cards flowing. The version of the deck that I play is a little light on that kind of action. Yeah, 
I think we're going to get ground out pretty solid, pretty good this game. Bring some Zenith. Well, we're going to counter it. Because that's a Knight of the Wild Choir. Even can't beat that. Chase. All right, well. Maybe I should play my Tundra so that I can Spell Snare as well. Yeah, my opponent's just going up cards. They're out carding the blue deck. Because Ramanap is what did it. Like, I took it a little too. Didn't take it seriously enough. Alright, well now we can stop the bleeding, I guess. Now I can get in there with this true name because I'll trade with either of these creatures. Not going to play my Tundra because I don't have a white spell to cast. It would be something I would like to brainstorm away. Force. This is a green sun zenith. We'll force that. <clears throat> Alexia Jace. I mean, Palace Jailer would be okay. I would take this. This is a mom, though. Oh, Stone Force Mystic? Okay. I'm in trouble. I don't really know what, I mean, like, did the Ramanap really do it that much for him, my opponent? Like, is that what did it? Okay, yeah, or dead. The old Avon Mind Sensor got me. Yeah, I wonder, like, what happened there. I'm sure that sure I did something so let's bring in this palace jailer let's bring in the disenchants let's bring in the supreme verdicts I don't think we want vendillion click spell pierce doesn't sound great so we can cut two of these I think oh, yeah this is what we're gonna do leaving two forces for chokes but have like some of our bigger cards it was a frustrating game I, th I felt like like it was, should I, was I supposed to respect the um, Ramanak by Excavator more? I don't know. I don't think I can mulligan this hand. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan this hand. I have a Force of Will. I mean, I have like a, a Spell Snare. I have a Plow for an early play. My man is underneath me. Yeah. Uh, I think a random six could be better. Yeah. That deck would, if that hand would have had a cantrip, I would have kept it. But now I'm in a lot of trouble. Maybe I'm supposed to keep that hand. How's it going there? Romar, Romar Vial, Romero, but I don't know. I'm terrible with pronunciations. All right. Not gonna ponder because I actually want that card. Though I might fetch it away. My opponent doesn't play anything here, but I would be surprised. Yeah, that was a bad, that one felt bad to lose. Mostly because I just don't know what happened. Right, I'm 
going to keep that now. Though the question is, do I go, do I play my Stoneforge Mystic or do I just plow and ponder? I think plow ponder is better than playing Stoneforge Mystic right now. We have to shuffle this, unfortunately. Unless we want to not draw the Jace, but the problem is we don't want to draw two of these cards we just don't want. We need lands. Okay. All right, like we have a Stoneforge Mystic. Council Judgment on the way to cast it. Right, we can deal with that later. So my opponent didn't have anything else to do on two. I'm kind of actually in for wasting them. I kind of want to get... I kind of just want to get Uzar's Jete. Just to have it, yeah. But you can fight through this mom. Got greedy with the old. Okay. All right, Danny. Choose you. Now don't have a judgment. Then I want to draw land. I want to play and equip. Oh, I got choked. Ugh. Uh, wait. Well, now I'm going to go get... I have another planes in my deck. Get it out there. Who won the lottery? JD is better versus, versus Maverick. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think the body mattered that much. I saw the lottery was going on tonight. Are you I don't know if you're a New Orleans fan, so you like the Pelicans, Tannen? <laughs> All right, so we're going to have some weird standoff here I gotta figure out what's going on so like if I go to pump then they pump and they basically counter what I'm doing so I, I can't be the first one to act basically Nice. This is a very odd game. At first I thought we rolled a five and I thought the game was just like super over, but now like, I guess I don't really know what's going on. I mean, if I draw another land, I could just Council's Judgment the Jet, and then I think the game's, like, pretty over. Not over, but, like, I think I'm pretty far ahead. All right, Tyler's Tracker makes things harder into a fetch land. And they get to... I guess if I attack, get four counters on this. Then I can go like Council's Judgment this, kill this, kill this. Yeah, it's, you know, it's decent. 
It's pretty nice. I think I, I lost the first game to Maverick, I think, because I just, like, was being a dunderhead. Alright, so what does that do? Alright, well, I've got to attack, and I've, I've got to kill this tireless tracker, I think. Then I can go get Batter Skull, and then I can, like, sort of race, I guess. Okay, so then I should do this right now. Because I don't have enough mana to crack another clue. <clears throat> but I don't know if that screws me with the race. I don't know. I can sit here and figure this out, but so what's going on here? Um, oh, we're we're tweaking out here. OBS is reconnecting at this point. I guess I just play this to play something here. Go get a batter skull. It's never going to get into play, but I take two counters off of this at least. OBS says we're reconnected. So our bit rate's fine. I hope the stream's working again. Alright, there's another royal query, which things are gonna get things are gonna get difficult. Ooh, Knight of Autumn, okay. Alright, let's so we're gonna go minus here. And I guess plus just plus it to just gain two life. Now that this probably has to hold back. Stop this mother of ruins. My stream's been having this problem where it's been just kicking me off recently. I don't think I can attack. I can't race this mother of runes. I, mean, I think I would just do better just holding and then like waiting, I guess. that over there that makes sense I mean if we still find a land we get to council judgment and I think I would council judgment the choke because I have snapcaster mage all right well now we're in a good spot so let's go get an island let's take care of this choke I hope the stream's working here. I, I'm in heaven. I'm just gonna shoot this off, okay? I 
don't want to attack with my Trinity Nemesis because they can just give this protection and then get in anyways. And, then, and now it's like... I guess I could have waited and then I would have made them tap Mother of Ruins, which would have been a good idea. Yeah, that would have been smarter. I'm not playing super well. I'm a little tired. <clears throat> Alright, waste me there. I guess that cuts me off of that, which was no bueno. Yeah, so I should have just waited, and that's what I'm going to do this time. I'm going to play another tree name, but... Well, no, I'm gonna wait, I guess. All right, well now we're gonna go, go get an island, and then I'll snap cast her judgment, take care of this jet. And then we'll just get our second, um, Get our second thing going. Definitely gonna take care of this jet this time. I might win on this mold of five, which would be impressive. Okay, we took care of that. Let's just get rid of this jet. I do want to attack, because I, I think the onus is on me to win the game because of Sword and Fire and Ice. Even my pins are okay. Well, now I can start the slow grind of moving the batter skull, of like getting batter skull into play and moving it over. I see we are playing a. Yes, we are. We are certainly trying to get ahead and stay ahead in this game for sure. Was it better to just play another true name? So 3, 11, 7, 5, 4, attack. Yeah, I'm just gonna race. Now that we have now that we can handle um now that we can handle uh sword of fire and ice, I'm just gonna try to race my opponent. There's a lot that could go wrong with playing batter skull. And trying to set that up, but I think this is just a better way to do it. Another creature can make things difficult for my opponent. Because they have another Dryad Arbor. Where it could complicate things a little bit. Okay. One of the most difficult things about playing Maverick, I think, would be just playing without the cantrips. Like, you're just subjecting yourself to so much. I don't know if it would like just kill me, I think. It would just give it protection. Yeah, now they, they, they drew knight. Oh, Renegade Rider. Thank God. Get themselves back. Wasteland. They wanted to get that value there. I hate how my Twitch does this. It keeps like just kicking me off. Like I don't know if my stream key is like messed up or what. Is 
this is in the seven, so now we just play the batter skull, and then hopefully we get it. <clears throat> I think we're gonna take this game home on a level four, which is impressive. As long as this isn't a sort of fire and ice, basically. As long as we don't get hit with fire and ice, like we're good. Are we? I think we even beat fire and ice. We're just gonna keep it the same. second we might have to just restart the stream I don't know why it keeps doing this because I can't tell if I'm live or not I can't tell if it like kicks me off of my stream like ugh. this hand's too slow this hand's got all right we're gonna keep this we just know if we're gonna just like put a pond on top and maybe Jace can like figure it out no mom come on don't don't hit me with the mom no, well, no, no, shoot. I'm worried about this and I just passed through my turn. Gosh darn it. That's frustrating. That is super frustrating. Now he just plays like a Thalia. And I just can't play magic. Stoneforge Mystic is not good. More beatable than Thalia, but it is still not good. All right, let's see. All right, I think we have to shuffle here. We don't want we don't want a Jace or another Stoneforge. The Ponder would be nice, but the redundant piece is not what we're looking for. Oh, that's so frustrating. I mean, it probably wouldn't have mattered that much. Because Sword of Fire and Ice is such a beating. But it does suck to have, to have clicked through our first turn. This is just... Into Rallier. <clears throat> Would have been sweet if I had a path there to keep this keep the sword of fire and ice off the table. Alright, we're just gonna get another one here. Get a JIT. So you have JIT, Sword of Fire and Ice, and two unknowns. I'm just gonna scoop it up here. Go to the next game. This one's, this game's over with the play and equip coming down. Like F6 and through my first turn. All right, let's finish up strong here. I'm gonna restart the stream for the last match here. So hang on. Yeah, it always it keeps frustrating because it keeps like kicking me off midstream, which is very annoying. I must have to update it. I haven't done that in a while. Settings. Alright, we should be back here to finish up the league. Let me get some more water and I'll be right back. Back now. 
But yeah, it keeps just kicking me off, which is frustrating. I must just have to update everything. It's gonna take forever. Um, I'll keep this hand. It's got a little bit of everything. All right, we'll just ponder, look for another blue land drop. None of those are that, so let's shuffle. All right, there's a blue land drop. Blank Grixis, we can get hemmed. You gonna hem me, buddy? Yep. Brainstorm and end up. Well, at least this card doesn't do anything. But oh, him to Torak, what a beating. This is always a fun matchup. Just gonna convert my spell snares. Makes my Vendillion click much worse if that resolves. So I definitely want to at least clear that out of the way because click can pressure Planeswalkers, which is nice. Now I can just jam True Name, which I think I'm going to do. I can go counterspell into click into true name. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. This click is now embarrassing. Maybe I'm supposed to counter that just because of how bad that interaction is. But I will just click my opponent and then I'll leave the click around to counter Diabolic Edict, I guess. All right, well, let's take this Jace. Scary, but let's take Jace. Alright. Play this on my opponent and pass the turn. At least we have true name in play. We've got either Narset or Tombstalker covered. Using Ponder is interesting. I guess they couldn't double spell. They played their mountain. Interesting deck from our opponent. I would assume they'll lead with Tombstalker. Okay, that makes things a little harder. Now we're in a race that we are not winning. It was nice that True Name pressures Narset pretty well. Stalking happens. Maybe I should have taken the. The Tombstalker is easier to answer than Jace's, though. So I could have traded off there. It's a nice draw. All right, let's put this back. Let's put this back. Just gonna play another true name, I think. Like I could, I could look to hit ponder to hit something to deal with this, but I can also just like get on the battlefield better 
and then I can ponder next turn. I can attack the Narset and then ponder next turn. <coughs> so I put it on two turn clock. I have to make sure to attack before pondering. This one's not quite on two turn clock. If you get aggressive, they could be. Do you whiff? Do you whiff opponent? Again, I don't want to block with Vendillion click because I don't want to get edicted. That's gonna that's gonna kill a click for sure. So now I just want to block because it's gonna die, and if they have die block either because that other card good on them. Alright, so let's start by attacking. Go one there, go one there. Really need to find an answer to this. It can be a Snapcaster Mage. There's our answer. Just jam another one. <coughs> this is why, I mean, this card's cool, but like, it's got its, it's got its issues. Right, we're in full race mode. I mean, we're dead to bolt snap bolt. We're dead to two versions of lightning bolt. But what do you think about two wastelands? I like two wastelands. A little bit of utility from the mana base. I think the deck wants twenty one lands. Whenever I play twenty, it feels a little light. And it's nice to get something out of your mana base from time to time. Snapcaster Bolt, maybe. All right, I mean, I'm just gonna get in here and attack, play Palace Jailer, take this, and then hope their top card is not like Lightning Bolt. <clears throat> just draw a card too, which is likely not going to matter at this point of the game. Yep, they scoop it up because the top card's dead. Got him. Okay. So, the old blue mirror. Been dealing click. We don't want that because just Baleful Strix makes that embarrassing. Kind of want to back to basics, my opponent. Clicks good in control mirrors though. I don't know. These plows probably can come out. And then we can fight over Tombstalker in other ways. Or well, we can trim on Stoneforge Mystics. Trim on Jet. Though I do like having two equipment because it just makes your Stoneforge Mystics better. Last one definitely is legacy playable. I just have to find the right deck for it. I don't want all of my. I want all of my four circles. I'm gonna leave in one more stone forge and cut a force. Dude, palace jailer, the removal spell, winning me the game. All right, we'll keep the sand sand. Pretty solid. <clears throat> we can handle a him on turn two, which is something we always like. Don't have to two for one ourselves to do it. Then we're gonna ponder on our second turn, look for a blue land drop to hit. All right, nothing from our opponent. Now we might not do anything. Let 
Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. Let's just let's just play draw go. Might brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. Just initiate there. Have to get your Baleful Strikes. Now I'm not gonna brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn, I don't think. But we keep hitting land drops, so I don't really want to do anything if I keep hitting land drops. Though I do want something to use with this Snapcaster. So I am just gonna get a get a ponder in the graveyard. Cycle through this. All right, well, we don't definitely don't want back to basics. I think we want true name the most out of any of these cards. But there's a likely chance that we just end up shuffling anyways. I think I'm going to shuffle. So I could use the Stoneforge Mystic as a shuffle. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'll draw the Mystic, then I will brainstorm. But I won't be the end of the world if I don't draw the Stoneforge Mystic. Let's just hit this with a Fluster Storm. Baleful Strix is annoying. Maybe it's worth bringing in the Supreme Verdict just to like kind of a catch-all way to clear the board if I need to. That's not bad. I can trade with like a with one of these in combat and click my opponent. I'm just going to board out my back to basics in the second game. My opponent's playing around it pretty heavily. I could also click myself here to make a land drop, which I don't hate. Try to rain blasted. I guess I opened myself up to getting hemmed here. Yeah. Oh, I had a Snapcaster. Yep, now I got hemmed. That was what that play did. That play was not great from the home team, but... A little tired. A little tired. I could have made a better. I could have made a better play. I could have like snap pondered on my turn to like hit a land drop. Which I'm gonna play this. Get this in here now. We're getting beat down by these tricks a little bit. Wouldn't mind getting our own dude on the on the field. Brainstorm. I wouldn't mind hiding this Snapcaster Mage, because you know it's just something we can get on top of a get on top of a deck with. So let's put this Brainstorm underneath this Snapcaster Mage. I get my Council Judgment, but I got a Snapcaster Mage to snap it back. Okay, train down. Probably should have waste landed that first. That would have that would have definitely not been great had we gotten whack there. I 
I think we want the brainstorm, but we don't want the other cards. So unfortunately, we have to draw one of them, but we'll just get rid of that. See, that's the nice thing about the wasteland here. A little bit of utility. Nothing special. Snapcaster Mage him. It's going to be my last two cards. Okay. And we brainstorm on top of our deck. So we're just going to hold up here. Card underneath it is Flusterstorm. We don't want to fire it off right now because we'd like to see three new cards. Now we're going to fire it off because it doesn't work because we don't have because of that. And we're dead. Yeah, we're just dead. That thing's going to beat us up. We can't get back from behind. The thing this does do in these blue mirrors is if you're ahead, it keeps you ahead. Maybe I need a little more removal in my deck. Definitely don't want these. I'm going to keep it like two plows. That might be like being results oriented, but. first yeah I'll keep this hand it's got a little bit of everything <clears throat> just a good solid hand Play the fetch land next. Yep, opponent probably takes brainstorm, but we have snapcaster mage for that. Spell snare. So that means we're going to get hemmed here next turn. Well, now we're not going to. I do not want to get hemmed. We're not going to get hemmed. That's that's why I like the wasteland. Every once in a while, you just get a little bit of value from it. I'm just a fan of. You know, it just, when your mana base does something for you, it's nice. I thought I sideboard get those out. I guess they block and trade with Strix, but that's not exactly what we want to be doing. I'm going to bring some random turns. I'd like to fetch, shuffle this card away. I just shouldn't have that card in my deck. Get rid of this. Probably, I kind of want to get rid of my Force of Will. As long as I have, with, a, with having Council's Judgment, like. It's not bad. Now I can just ponder. All, right, all these are pretty solid. Probably can just not draw this tree nemesis and get this Stoneforge Mystic going. Mm. I want to make my land drop next turn. So I think I'm going to go. And then I might cast the Stone Forge Mystic, I might not. So 
I'm gonna be aggressive with this. Just fire it off when I can. They've got like NAR sets and stuff, so I would like to just be able to get out ahead of that if possible. All right. I think I'm just gonna go get a batter skull. Or I'll get a new Mizawa's Jete, excuse me. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a jet. I kind of want to draw, I want to make a land drop. So draw a counterspell, I can go snap, fluster storm, or counterspell something. I don't want to put counterspell on the bottom. Take this Vendillion click, I guess. Maybe I should have gotten Batter Skull because I could start balancing it. I would like to make a land drop. I would like a second creature to put this jet on too. So I think we're just going to go like this. I mean, we're going to need lands in the later game. If we want to get full value out of our Snapcaster mages. Tired. I think this is the last, last, last match of the league. Snare my opponent's Snapcaster Mage. Then I'm just going to attack into this. To this Baleful Strix. Can't have that happening. I'm gonna click myself. Probably just get rid of this council's judgment. Then we'll counterspell this. The next turn we'll sneak the we'll sneak the jit in, and then we'll just start getting counters on this. I do feel like I'm gonna lose this game though. I think I think I'm in trouble here. 
I might just take my jet here with like a him. I could Mars casualties me, okay. Palace jet. All right, well. Now I just don't even want to vile this thing because I just want to brainstorm it away. I don't think I've played this game well. I think I should have gotten a batter skull. Like, the batter skull does kind of suck in the in the face of um in the face of baleful strix but it can at least like <laughs> you can just grind pick it up pick it up pick it up pick it up so i don't even care if my opponent takes this it just doesn't do anything yeah see they don't even it's probably gonna get Colagons commanded, is what's gonna happen to it. Into a Jace. Now I'm in trouble. I just don't think, I don't think I've played this very well. A little tired. I'm gonna vial it in now. Because I have to just I have to try to make something happen here. Hopefully I don't get bolted. Alright, don't have a lightning bolt. Because now I can take back I can just if this resolves, I can get the monarch. If you haven't, if you haven't heard, the monarch is pretty decent. I kind of I'm just gonna hold my two counters on there. I think, like, come on, no force blue card. Yeah, so we got a chance. We got a chance. We need to we need to draw well. Like out beating outpacing a Jace is tough. The monarch is a good way to start doing it, but it's gonna be hard for my opponent to take the monarch back. So hopefully we can outpace it. Because they have to try to deal with this palace jail or body too. Like the body's relevant. Oh no. Our side shuts off the monarch so well. That elemental blast doesn't do anything. It's hard to kill this. Like I'm probably just gonna go after this Narset here. Hopefully I don't find an edict. I think if they had an edict they'd go for it though right now. I'm gonna attack this. Attack Narset Parter Veils. Pump it. <coughs> okay. And I'm actually just gonna wasteland this underground sea, I think. They look like they're their man is a little wonky. It's only losing with two black sources and two blue sources. All right. <laughs> if we win this game because of Palace Jailer, it just is so obnoxious. And I'm definitely gonna click them EOT because I want to clear the way for this judgment. Like, oh my god, palace chair is so obnoxious. Alright, 
I'm just going to play this. Like, I want to guarantee put something on the stack here. Because even if they get the Council Judgment, at least we have a... Oh, I knew they had a Red Blast. That was stupid of me to do that. Okay, so they get rid of this. I'm going to attack Jace and go for it. We get Jace on the battlefield and we have the Monarch. Game's just super over. This is why, like, I didn't, like, I wrote about in my article about this deck. Um, I thought that this deck was kind of poor because it just struggled against all of the, um, it just was a dog and all the blue mirrors. But now Palace Jailer is just, like, super messed up. And it's just, like, a super powerhouse in these, in these blue mirrors. Like, it just single-handedly is going to win me this game here. can he do here? I mean, he can, like, cantrip. I think that's, like, pretty much it. Like, I mean, if he flashes him back, then... But that doesn't even do it. Yeah, you can, you can have, you can have the triumph, but... It still doesn't work, but you don't get the the creature back. And now I will just play a land pass, and then I'll probably shoot this when they go to attack with it. Yeah, like this is just wild. Like, the Monarch is so stupid. Just gonna let that go. Yeah, like, we just, we, we had no business winning this game, and then we top back the Palace Jailer. Then, like, just drew us five cards. Let's get rid of that. Because that one is kind of hard to handle. Like, if they have a blast, then I'll probably just force a will to deal with it. They're just dead. Like, target counter spell. Okay, I might froze up for a second. I was like, what's going on, Moto? There's like nothing, anything, nothing, nothing my opponent does matters. I'm gonna brainstorm because it's potentially at risk because of blasts after sideboard. So I'm just gonna get my card. We're just gonna get rid of these. Play my land. I'm gonna crack my fetch land right now before I forget. Do some pondering. Um, I guess I'll just keep this James just in case. We'll put it on the bottom. And then we'll draw Brainstorm. This is our pitch card. <clears throat> this is why this deck is good now. Cause, because in these blue mirrors, you just have Palace Jailer. And Palace Jailer is just completely messed up. The scariest card is probably like new Narset right now. We're just so far ahead that we want to just continue to draw our cards. Destroy target artifact and rebuy Snapcaster Mage. 
I'm just gonna force this because it's basically just this trading force of all four because Spellpierce doesn't do anything. I don't want him to start looping Polygon's commands. these back play this go get batter skull and pass I'll probably just equip legit I'm not even going to because I'm gonna just violin the batter skull yeah this game's getting more and more over every single turn Look for a way to deal with that. All right, we didn't find it, but we found another jailer. Um, I'm gonna put this back, then I'm gonna put this back. So even if they get Colagon's command, like they can return Snapcaster Mage and do something, but it just doesn't matter. Everything my opponent does just does not matter. Now I do just have to make sure that I win with before I deck, but the true name nemesis on top should do that fine so let's brainstorm ditch this ditch this play this play true name fetch my top card away and then I'll pass not gonna do anything with the palace jailer until my opponent makes me or just vial this in. I can play batter skull games with my opponent if they want to. Alright, then just let him take a card. Yeah, like this game was like super over and then I ripped Palace Jailer. And that just card just completely messed up. Just absolutely an unreasonable magic card. Sure. Okay, I have another one. Not even worried about it. I hope, like, anybody that thinks that, you know, I was talking with somebody on Twitter and they were talking about how, you know, he doesn't really think Palace Jailer is meant for the deck. And I'm like, man, Palace Jailer makes the deck. Like, Palace Jailer is why it's good. And the fact that it's come back, it's just. Just for this reason, what are you gonna do? You gonna hit me again? Or are you gonna try to pick this up and then pick up a Snapcaster? Like trying to grind with a monarch, with a monarch is just not great. Okay, like you're gonna pick up, which is like all this is okay. It just doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't matter. Cause I'm actually attacking my opponent. I'm just going to fate seal my opponent at this point. Because I know they have two Snapcasters in hand. Their biggest constraint is just actual mana. It's like, no, you can, you can have that. It just doesn't do anything. <laughs> I 
Now, I, I know my opponent has Bolt, Snap, Bolt available to them. But again, like, this Trinity Nemesis is going to connect. Just gonna flash this in. Target Spell Snare. My opponent flashes in another Snapcaster Mage. And then for shits and giggles, I will brainstorm. Because none of this matters. And that, that's like, that's why Palace Jail is kind of annoying. It's just too good. Yep, there we go. We got the 4 1. I am exhausted. I'm glad everybody hangs out. Um, please check out the Barrero Brothers. Got one more deck in the queue. If you would like to see your deck played on stream, check it out and donate $10. Besides that, have a great rest of your night.